Welcome to the Davis Newscast for Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Cricket icon El Camino Willett received the Prime Minister's Man of the Year Award at a ceremony on Friday, November 18th, organized by the Federal Ministry of Gender Affairs in a celebration of International Men's Day, November 19th. Division El Camino Willett was the first Leeward Islander to make the West in this cricket team some 50 years ago. The award was accepted by his daughter, Seneldo Willett. Prime Minister Drew cited the local theme for the Men's Day celebration, gender equality, the role of men and boys in building and maintaining positive relations, and stressed the value of positive males. El Comido Willett was among eight men who were recognized as positive role models and awarded for their outstanding contributions to St. Kitts and Nevis. The other the awardees were Rodney Brown for Entrepreneurship and Small Business Development, Elmo Burke for his first response, Ricardo Richards for Environment and Sanitation, Clive Saunders for Community Service and Activism, and Sylvester Huggins for Creative Economy and Cultural Arts. The Director of Gender Affairs Man of Valor Award went to Jarek Crossley, while Leroy Willett received the Legacy Award. Prime Minister Drew made a toast to the awardees, saying that they have demonstrated their commitment to their different fields of endeavor, and that has resulted in helping to build positive relationships that resulted in their being recognized, in saluting the men and boys across St. Kitts and Nevis and the world at large, Prime Minister Drew said, you are never forgotten, we do appreciate you. He then led the audience in three cheers to all the men. Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Brantley, says the payment of an extra month's salary to public servants on Tuesday, November 22nd, is very good news. The payments were made to civil servants, government auxiliary employees of the Government of St. Kitts and Nevis and the Nevis Island Administration, including pensioners and skills training empowerment program step workers. I would wish to publicly extend thanks to the federal government because through our dialogue and discussions, in fact, I spoke to the Honorable Prime Minister just this morning, we have established that these benefits, this windfall, so to speak, of a double salary, that it will be extended through to the people of Nevis as well. And so I would want to extend thanks because this is part of the ongoing conversation about a fair share of the country's resources being available to those who are in Nevis as well. We know that one third of the population resides here and the Honorable Prime Minister has indicated with great alacrity, no need for persuasion, that it was the intention that this applies across the board. The government of St. Kitts and Davis has also approved three discounted value-added tax VAT rate days, Friday, November 25th, Friday, December 16th, and Saturday, December 17th. This is in addition to duty-free allowances for foodstuff and non-commercial imports from November to December 2022. And in light of the three VAT days that have been announced federally, and the various concessions put in place for Christmas, we are hopeful that this injection of additional monies into the local economy will lead to more spending, will lead to more economic activity. And whilst we are hopeful of that, those who know me know that it would be remiss of me if I didn't say also to our people, try to save a little something out of it as well. Don't spend all. Put a little something aside. Treat it as money that you didn't intend to make. Money as you didn't intend to have. Treat it as if you won the lotto. And put a little something aside. So we expect some expenditure, naturally. We expect people to have a joyful Christmas because they have an additional bit of money in their pockets. But I'm also asking our people to be prudent. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley. 
The following is a notice from the Inland Revenue Department regarding the discounted VAT rate day on Friday, November 25th, 2022. This will allow all VAT registered businesses to charge VAT at the rate of 5% on the sale of goods only. All tangible items that are currently subject to 17% VAT will qualify for the discount on discounted VAT rate day. Items eligible must also be available for sale and immediate issuance or delivery to the customer on discounted VAT rate days. Orders for items not in stock do not qualify. Guns, ammunition, cigarettes and alcoholic beverages are not eligible. Alcoholic beverages not eligible include but are not limited to wine, brandy, vodka, whiskey, gin, rum, liquors, beer, Guinness, Royal Stout, Carib, and Smirnoff Ice. Please note that there will be no vehicle purchase exemptions for discounted VAT rate day on November 25th, 2022. Businesses desirous of registering for discounted VAT rate day must ensure that they have filed all their VAT returns, have no outstanding taxes, licenses, penalties and or interest due to the Inland Revenue Department or the Customs and Excise Department. Unless otherwise informed by the department, once application is made to participate in the discounted VAT rate day on November 25, 2022, businesses would not be required to apply thereafter for the discounted VAT rate days in December 2022. Still to come, a taste of Nevis in the UK. The details after this break. Tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me NC and you NC, NNC. Welcome back. On Monday, November 21st, CEO Devon Liebert and sales manager Julie Claxton of the Nevis Tourism Authority welcomed some key UK journalists to enjoy a spa evening in the United Kingdom to demonstrate a taste of the Nevis wellness offering. The guests were treated to a sound bar session to mentally transport them to island life, away from the stresses of their day and to dip in an outdoor hot tub to imitate the experience of Nevis's hot springs. During the evening, Liebert presented the wellness video and new destination video for journalists to see and shared details on activities on the island over the past three years, as well as a look ahead at what is to come. Eight journalists were in attendance, including Nigel Tisdall, a freelance travel writer and Caribbean specialist who writes regularly for The Telegraph, Marie Claire of Financial Times Mail on Sunday and Sunday Times Travel, Jeanette Kawaki, former Great Britain Olympian and now TV presenter and blogger on BBC, Sky Sports and Channel 5, and Daniel Tobin, who writes for the magazine Luxuria Lifestyle, where she produces lifestyle and travel content for for luxury hotels and destinations. The Nevis Tourism Authority says it is pleased to have made some great relationships with the UK media and looks forward to continuing its work with them. The Nevis Water Department wishes to advise the general public of a scheduled water interruption on Wednesday, 23rd November 2022, during the hours of 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The areas that will be affected by this outage are the areas alongside the island main road from cliff dwellers to the intersection of Mount Nevis Hotel entrance to Cottle Church via Uali Beach Hotel. This water interruption is to facilitate the upgrades on the road rehabilitation project. The Nevis Water Department is also urging the motoring public to adhere to the road signage during the construction phase of the project and to drive with extreme caution. 
And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.